What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel and today we're going to be taking a look at my top five favorite accessories. Now, it's not anything new for wrestling figures to get uh, accessories, right? I mean, it's commonplace. Like, look at all these things, these things. We even get uh, hands. Now, one thing I want to cover. I'm not including stuff like hands. I'm not including belts. If I included belts, obviously belts would be our favorite, right? We love belts. I'm not including anything that is... Um, a part of the actual mold of the figure for instance the new goon figure i love that he has the hockey glove hands not including that now things like this extensions of the mold such as um his wrist gauntlets we can include that his headdress we can include that these are just my rules for this video um, but those aren't part of it now i mean accessories are really really expanded over the years you know for instance this was a huge deal when i was a kid and we got the attitude ring that came with the ring steps that actually attached to the corner of the ring i mean that was huge because it, it really brought everything to life you know what i mean sure we had the hasbro ring that had those like steps or whatever but this like was very true to form um no granted they, these aren't the attitude ones but you know what i'm saying it was very true to form for, for actually carrying out um, what you saw on television. Now, I get asked a lot of questions about my accessories, um, where I put them so far. Um, I have pretty much every accessory that I've ever gotten with a figure, and I organize them. And that brings me to number five on the list. Number five is the silver Jack Pacific chair now originally the chairs were very boxy like this like this war zone one from henry o godwin very boxy square it still worked and functioned and everything but it wasn't like a real steel chair and at the time steel chairs were highly used on wwe television wwf television and this was as close as you could get to like an authentic looking steel chair and it worked it opened up the hand the sides were perfect especially for titan trons um, some figures you can get, uh, some BCAs you can get these into the hands, and, and it was pretty cool to be able to use a steel chair on somebody, hit them over the head, which obviously we don't do anymore um, in wrestling, but at the time it was it was prominent. So to get something like this was absolutely huge. Um, but yeah, I have all my accessories. So another thing that was huge is the table. We'll get to the breakable tables later. This is my number five. I loved this steel chair. As you can see, it's in there in the Total Attitude Pack. The steel chair from the Attitude Era. And we are back in the heel cave. Um, and there's just so many things over the years. We've gotten removable cloth goods shirts from the AWA line. We've gotten Yokozuna's salt bucket. Macho Man, Macho King Randy Savage's Removable attires and accessories. Look at this Kamala with the removable mask. The necklace. He's got the, the shield. Rick Rude's robe. I mean, there's so many cool things. Look, Tyler Breeze's uh, selfie stick. We've gotten so many cool things over the years. Another great one that's kind of new. We got Rocco to go with Paul Ellering, something I never would have thought I'd ever say. We've gotten a lot of accessories, and I really think that the Jack Specific BCA line should get the credit for really, really doubling down on accessories, right? We look at the Stomp Collection. We got so many different accessories. In the BCA days, at, at one point, it got to about like halfway through the line, every single figure came with an accessory, whether it made sense or not. It was not uncommon 
for a road dog Jesse James to come with a fire extinguisher. Did he use fire extinguishers all the time? No, he didn't. Or maybe Stone Cold to come with a CD tower. Why? Doesn't matter. We got an accessory, right? But I think the ones that are the most important are the ones that make sense, right? Not all accessories make sense. Kurt Hawkins. Makes sense that he comes out with his cane, so it makes sense to give it to him, right? Like I said, giving Steve Austin a CD tower, it's not like he was known as a big music fan on WWF television. And one accessory, number four on my list, that makes total sense from the BCA Tag Team Series 1, the removable shoulder pads for Legion of Doom. This was huge, guys. I mean, up until this point, we got molded on shoulder pads right here with the Legion of Doom, all right? And we were happy with it, we loved it. We played with these, uh, they had full matches in these shoulder pads. In real life, they had a full match in these. You're talking about somebody's dead with those spikes, getting stabbed through them if they did the Doomsday device, right? Imagine sitting on um, uh, animal shoulders with those spikes, going right through your hamstrings, all the way through your quadriceps. We finally got removable shoulder pads, and God, I gotta tell you, I absolutely love these things. It was so fun to have them come out down the aisle. They get in the ring, they take off their shoulder pads, they have a full-on match, not to mention these were so playable in the sense that you could do a doomsday device. You could put somebody on animal sh shoulders and have Hawk come off the top rope, knock him over, get the one, two, three. These figures were so playable, and it's really hard for me to not pick them as my favorite road warriors, but they're definitely up there. Now it's commonplace for us to get removable shoulder pads, right? Back then it wasn't, so these are huge. We're even getting um, remakes of the road warriors with removable shoulder pads from Zombie Sailor Toys. Big up to Zombie Sailor. Um, so just keep an eye out for that. But yes, number four, the removable shoulder pads from the legion of doom i mean there's so many cool things look how about alberto del rio's chihuahua or darren young's hair pick i love stuff like this alexa bliss's little uh pom-poms on the back of her gear the hourglass with scarlet I mean, come on. The key to the city. We got the removable um, gauntlet masks for demolition. There's so many cool things that we've gotten over the years, guys. And the next two on my list are actually from the same line. Number one, I'm sorry, number three, number one from this line, is from the TNT, Jeff Jarrett from the Toy Biz WCW line. We finally got a breakable guitar. This was huge. Before this, all of his figures came with that guitar. It was just a repainted um, honky-tonk guitar, as you can see, which was cool. I mean, I still used it. I still beat up everybody with uh, Jeff Jarrett's guitar. He hit everybody over the head with it in my figure federation. However... This was the first breakable one. You could, and it, and it worked. You could squeeze his legs, his hand would go up, and he would smash that guitar over somebody's head. It was perfect. It was so playable. It was so true to life of what you see on television. I loved it. I loved it so much. And now, yes, it's commonplace for us to get breakable guitars. But again, it has to start somewhere, right? And it started here, at least in wrestling figures. Um, and when you think about it, like action figures should be stuff like this. So it's kind of crazy that um, Jax didn't get a one up on them and start doing the breakable uh, guitar, especially since they were doing other breakable items. Very cool, though. And it's something that lives on even today. Number two, probably going to get a little something for this, a little flack, but it's from Hardcore Hack. It's the removable barbed wire wrapped around i'm sure i loved having that kendo stick i used it in my ecw figures with the sandman figure but hack came with removable whoops 
barbed wire. It hooks around his neck. You could do all different ways, but I love this. I would wrap all kinds of things in this barbed wire. Guitars, um, the bats, all kinds of stuff, chairs, and I would have really hardcore matches with this. This was a game changer for me in how I, in how I played with my action figures. Absolutely loved this figure solely because he had removable barbed wire and it's something they didn't even have to do. They didn't even have to include it, but they did and it was a nice touch making this one of my favorite Toy Biz figures in the entire line, believe it or not. Removable barbed wire from Hack. I'll put this over here. And finally... I said we would get to breakable tables. Breakable tables are definitely number one on my list. However, one specifically. The WWE commentator's table. Now, here's, here's my loose one. Full disclosure, I can't find the other side. It's, it's, it's in my um, accessory bin that I showed you. I wasn't going through it because I have um this one over here to show you so both sides are flat they come with two monitors just like you see on tv it's very true to life but the one that comes with the raw main event ring with goldberg is my favorite because it comes with these authentic as hell commentator chairs they even re recline back they they spin it's very very um true to form and it's amazing that we even got this so this is my number one. If, you, if you're doing a, a figure federation or even figure photography and you have an arena set up, this is the commentator station that you need. It don't, I don't care who's at the commentator station. I don't care what figures you choose, whether it's Corey Graves and Michael Cole, or if you want to put um, Brutus Beefcake and, I don't know, the bar, uh, the the barbarian I, I don't i don't care who you put at the commentator station you need this in some way shape or form i believe it comes to the smackdown main event ring as well but look at these chairs they fit figures perfectly all right now it's just a basic mvp but they fit great in there granted his legs are straight but it is a basic <laughs> as is Corey Graves, but i think he has a little bit more articulation than this uh mvp but I absolutely love this. My favorite, absolute favorite um, accessory is the commentator's ring from the Raw main event ring. Commentator's table from the Raw main event ring. So yeah, number five on my list is the plain old silver steel chair from the Jax BCA line. It was something that we just needed as kids and we, we used all different types of things before we got those square chairs to emulate the, the chairs. And then we got this really rounded, thin, perfect for holding an action figure in an action figure's hand. And uh, yeah, absolutely needed that. Number four is the Road Warriors removable shoulder pads. I mean, look at those things. I, I still love them to this day. Probably my favorite removable shoulder pads of all because they're very soft, very flexible. Number three, Jeff Jarrett's WCW Toy Biz breakable guitar. Something that we needed. We didn't know we needed until we got it. And then once we got it, uh, it's hard to get, get rid of it. And, and granted, today I complain when we get something like this honky tonk man who has a breakable guitar. Doesn't make sense to me. Okay. Honky tonk should just have a regular guitar. I understand there's been segments where they, he's broken guitars or guitar has been broken on him but we don't he's not known for that you know he's not known for necessarily breaking guitars over heads as is a jeff jarrett constantly that was his gimmick breaking a guitar over someone's head so when we finally got that it made sense to put it with jeff number two is the barbed wire on hack i absolutely love this like i said part of what sets us apart for me is that it's something we didn't need it wasn't exactly necessary but they went the extra mile and they gave it to us and I loved it. I love the creativity that it gave me. I didn't just keep it on hack. I wrapped things up in it. I, I, I pretended that it was on ropes, on tables, chairs, wrapped around other people, you name it. I used it as a weapon and it was one of my favorite things as a kid. That's why it's number two. And number one 
is the new commentators table. I love the chairs, but even if the chairs weren't there, I just think this is so true to life and it looks so so excellent. How could you not how could you not want it? <laughs> you know, like look at it, it's, it's excellent. It's a beautiful looking station for your figures and it really makes your arena pop. So, yeah. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Comment below. Let me know your top five favorite wrestling figure accessories of all time. They don't have to match mine. You don't have to agree with mine. I don't have to agree with yours. This is what makes it fun. We're all different and we all like different things. So let's talk about it. All right, guys. Take it easy. Have a good one. Peace. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heels Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist, a 500 plus page guide to over 40 plus years of wrestling figure collecting. As heard on the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, it features WWE, WWF, WCW, ECW, TNA, NJPW, AEW, Ring of Honor, AWA, Dragon Gate, CMLL, AJPW, AAA, and more. Professionally organized so you can keep track of mock, loose, value, and much more. Fig Heels Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Don't forget to check out our official sponsor, TheWrestlingPlace.com, for all your action figure needs.